सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट दिस इज चैप्टर सिक्सटीन प्लेइंग विद नंबर्स फ्रॉम पेज नंबर टू फोर्टी नाइन टू पेज नंबर टू सिक्सटी लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर सिक्सटीन प्लेइंग विद नंबर्स पेज नंबर टू फोर्टी नाइन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव स्टडीड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ नंबर्स सच एज नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इन टीचर्स एंड रैशनल नंबर्स यू हैव ऑल्सो स्टडीड अ नंबर ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉपर्टीज अबाउट दैम इन क्लास सिक्स वी एक्सप्लोर्ड फाइंडिंग फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स एंड द रिलेशनशिप्स अमंग दैम इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल एक्सप्लोर numbers in more detail these ideas help in justifying tests of divisibility 16.2 numbers in general form let us take the number 52 and write it as 52 is equal to 50 plus 2 is equal to 10 into 5 plus 2 similarly the number 37 can be written as 37 Is equal to ten into three plus seven. In general, any two-digit number AB made up of digits a and b can be written as AB is equal to ten into a plus b is equal to ten a plus b. What about BA? BA is equal to ten into b plus a is equal to ten b plus a. Here, AB does not mean a into b. Let us now take number three fifty one. This is a three-digit number. It can also be written as three fifty one is equal to three hundred plus fifty plus one is equal to hundred into three plus ten into five plus one into one. Similarly, four ninety seven is equal to hundred into four plus ten into nine plus one into seven. In general. a three digit number abc made up of digits a b and c is written as abc is equal to 100 into a plus 10 into b plus 1 into c is equal to 100 a plus 10 b plus c in the same way cab is equal to 100 c plus 10 a plus b BCA is equal to hundred B plus ten C plus A, and so on. Page number two fifty. Try these. One, write the following numbers in generalized form: one twenty-five, two seventy-three, three one twenty-nine, four three hundred two. Two, write the following. In the usual form, one ten into five plus six, two hundred into seven plus ten into one plus eight, three hundred into a plus ten into c plus b. Sixteen point three games with numbers. One reversing the digits two digit number. Minakshi asks Sundaram to think of a two digit number. And then to do whatever she asks him to do, to that number. Their conversation is shown in the following figure. Study the figure carefully before reading on. Conversation between Minakshi and Sundaram. First round. Minakshi says, "Choose two-digit number." Sundaram replies, "All right," and chooses. Forty-nine. Minakshi says, "Reverse the digits to get a new number." Sundaram replies, "Okay, I will." He gets ninety-four. Minakshi says, "Add this to the number you started with." Sundaram replies, "Hmm, okay." He gets one forty-three. Minakshi says, "Now divide the answer by eleven." Sundaram replies, "Hmm, okay." He gets thirteen. Minakshi says there won't be any remainder. 
Sundaram replies, Yes, you are right. But how did you know? It so happens that Sundaram chose the number 49. So, he got the reversed number 94. Then he added these two numbers and got 49 plus 94 is equal to 143. Finally, he divided this number by 11 and caught 143 divided by 11 is equal to 13 with no remainder. This is just what Minakshi had predicted. Page number 251. Try these. Check what the result would have been if Sundaram had chosen the numbers shown below. 1. 27 2. 39 3. 64 4. 17 Now, let us see if we can explain Minakshi's trick. Suppose Sundaram chooses the number AB which is a short form for the two-digit number 10A plus B. On reversing the digits, he gets the number BA is equal to 10B plus A. When he adds the two numbers, he gets 10A plus B within brackets plus 10B plus A within brackets is equal to 11A plus 11B is equal to 11A plus B within brackets. So the sum is always a multiple of 11 just as Minakshi had claimed. Observe here that if we divide the sum by 11, the quotient is A plus B, which is exactly the sum of the digits of chosen number AB. You may check the same by taking any other two-digit number. The game between Minakshi and Sundaram continues. Minakshi, think of another two-digit number, but don't tell me what it is. Sundaram, all right. Minakshi, now reverse the digits of the number and subtract the smaller number from the larger one. Sundaram, I have done the subtraction. What next? Minakshi, now divide your answer by 9. I claim that there will be no remainder. Sundaram, yes, you are right. There is indeed no remainder. But this time I think I know how you are so sure of this. In fact, Sundaram had thought of 29. So his calculations were, first he got the number 92, then he got 92 minus 29 is equal to 63 and finally he did 63 divided by 9 and got 7 as quotient with no remainder. Try these. Check what the result would have been if Sundaram had chosen the numbers given below. 1, 17, 2, 21, 3, 96, 4, 37. Let us learn how Sundaram explains Minakshi's second trick. Now he feels confident of doing so. Suppose he chooses the two-digit number AB is equal to 10A plus B. After reversing the digits, he gets the number BA is equal to 10B plus A. Now Minakshi tells him to do a subtraction, the smaller number from the larger one. If the tens digit is larger than the ones digit, that is, A is greater than B, he does 10A plus B within brackets minus 10B plus A within brackets is equal to 10A plus B minus 10B minus A is equal to 9A minus 9B is equal to 9A minus B within brackets. Page number 252. If the 1's digit is larger than the 10's digit, that is, B is greater than A, he does 10B plus A within bracket minus 10A plus B within brackets is equal to 9B minus A within brackets. And of course, if A is equal to B, he gets 0. In each case, the resulting number is divisible by 9, so the remainder is 0. Observe here that if we divide the resulting number obtained by subtraction, the quotient is A minus B or B minus A according as A is greater than B or A is less than B. You may check the same by taking any other two digit numbers. 2. Reverse the digits, three digit number. Now it is Sundaram's turn to play some tricks. Sundaram says, 
think of a three digit number but don't tell me what it is minakshi replies all right sundaram says now make a new number by putting the digits in reverse order and subtract the smaller number from the larger one minakshi replies all right i have done the subtraction what next sundaram says divide your answer by 99 i'm sure that there will be no remainder in fact minakshi chose the three digit number 349 so she got reversed number 943 difference 943 minus 349 is equal to 594 division 594 divided by 99 is equal to 6 with no remainder try these check what the result would have been if minakshi had chosen the numbers given below in each case keep a record of the quotient obtained at the end 1 one, 132 2 469 3 737 4 901 Let us observe how this trick works. Let the three-digit number chosen by Minakshi be A B C is equal to 100 A plus 10 B plus C. After reversing the order of the digits, she gets the number C B A is equal to 100 C plus 10 B plus A. On subtraction, if A is greater than C, then the difference between the numbers is. 100a plus 10b plus c within brackets minus 100c plus 10b plus a within brackets is equal to 100a plus 10b plus c minus 100c minus 10b minus a is equal to 99a minus 99c is equal to 99a minus c within brackets. If c is greater than a, then the difference between the numbers is. 100c plus 10b plus a within brackets minus 100a plus 10b plus c within brackets is equal to 99c minus 99a is equal to 99c minus a within brackets. And of course, if a is equal to c, the difference is zero. In each case, the resulting number is divisible by 99, so the remainder is zero. Observe. that quotient is a minus c or c minus a you may check the same by taking other three digit numbers 3 forming three digit numbers with given three digits now it is minakshi's turn once more page number 253 minakshi says think of any two digit number sundaram replies all right i have done so Minakshi says now use this number to form two more three digit numbers like this if the number you chose is abc then the first number is cab that is with the ones digit shifted to the left end of the number the other number is bca that is with the hundreds digit shifted to the right end of the number now add them up divide the resulting number by 37 i claim that there will be no remainder sundaram yes you are right in fact sundaram had thought of the three digit number 237 after doing what minakshi had asked he got the number 723 and 372 so he did 237 plus 723 plus 372 the total is 1332 then he divided the resulting number 1332 by 37 1332 divided by 37 is equal to 36 with no remainder form all possible three digit numbers using all the digits 2 3 and 7 and find their sum check whether the sum is divisible by 37 is it true for the sum of all the numbers formed by the digits a b and c of the number abc try these check what the result would have been if sundaram had chosen the numbers given below 1 417 2 632 3 117 4 
937. Will this trick always work? Let us observe. ABC is equal to 100A plus 10B plus C. CAB is equal to 100C plus 10A plus B. BCA is equal to 100B plus 10C plus A. ABC plus CAB plus BCA is equal to 111 A plus B plus C within brackets is equal to 37 into 3 A plus B plus C within brackets which is divisible by 37. 16.4 Letters for Digits Here we have puzzles in which letters take the place of digits in an arithmetic sum and the problem is to find out which letter represents which digit. So, it is like cracking a code. Here we stick to problems of addition and multiplication. Page number 254 Here are two rules we follow while doing such puzzles. 1. Each letter in the puzzle must stand for just one digit. Each digit must be represented by just one letter. 2. The first digit of a number cannot be zero. Thus, we write the number 63 as 63 and not as 063 or 0063. A rule we would like to follow is that puzzle must have just one answer. Example 1. Find Q in the addition. 31Q plus 1Q3. The sum is 501. Solution. There is just one letter Q whose value we have to find. Study the addition in the ones column. From Q plus 3 we get 1, that is, a number whose ones digit is 1. For this to happen, the digit Q should be 8. So the puzzle can be solved as given below. 318 plus 183 gives the sum 501. That is, Q is equal to 8. Example 2. Find A and B in the addition. A plus A plus A gives the sum B A. Solution. This has two letters A and B whose values are to be found. Study the addition in the ones column. The sum of the three A's is a number whose ones digit is A. Therefore, the sum of two A's must be a number whose one's digit is 0. This happens only for a is equal to 0 and a is equal to 5. If a is equal to 0, then the sum is 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, which makes b is equal to 0 too. We do not want this as it makes a is equal to b and then the tenth digit of b a too becomes 0. So, we reject this possibility. So, a is equal to 5. Therefore, the puzzle is solved as given below. 5 plus 5 plus 5, that is, A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 1. The sum is 15. Page number 255. Example 3. Find the digits A and B. BA into B3 gives the total as 57A. Solution. This also has two letters, A and B, whose values are to be found. Since the ones digit of 3 into A is A, it must be that A is equal to 0 or A is equal to 5. Now, focus on B. If B is equal to 1, then BA into B3 would at most be equal to 19 into 19. That is, it would at most be equal to 361. But the product here is 57A, which is more than 500. So, we cannot have B is equal to 1. If B is equal to 3, then BA into B3 would be more than 30 into 30, that is more than 900. But 57A is less than 600. So, B cannot be equal to 3. Putting these two facts together, we observe that B is equal to 2 only. So, 
the multiplication is either 20 into 23 or 25 into 23. The first possibility fails since 20 into 23 is equal to 460, but the second one works out correctly since 25 into 23 is equal to 575. So the answer is A is equal to 5, B is equal to 2. 25 into 23 gives the total as 575. Do this. Write a two digit number AB and the number obtained by reversing its digits, that is BA. Find their sum. Let the sum be a three digit number DAD, that is AB plus BA is equal to DAD. 10A plus B within brackets plus 10B plus A within brackets is equal to DAD. 11 A plus B within brackets is equal to DAD. The sum A plus B cannot exceed 18. Why? Is DAD a multiple of 11? Is DAD less than 198? Write all the three digit numbers which are multiples of 11 up to 198. Find the values of A and D. Exercise 6.1 Find the values of the letters in each of the following and give reasons for the steps involved. 1. 3A plus 25 gives the total B2. 2. 4A plus 98 gives the total CB3. 3. 1A into A gives the total 9A. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Assistants in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India